I heard a loud bang, and then the largest bowl exploded. Marina Hill wanted a new set of mixing bowls for her kitchen, but what she got was a war zone. Pieces of glass were flying everywhere, <laughs> and I mean everywhere. I literally put my hands up in front of my face to shield myself from the glass. Hill had just returned from Home Outfitters, where she purchased the set of Martha Stewart mixing bowls. She said they were laid out on the counter waiting to be washed when suddenly one bowl violently shattered for no apparent reason. It didn't just go off once. Then it continued popping and spraying glass for about another 10 or 15 minutes. Like I left the room. I was just scared to death. Hill took the remains back to Home Outfitters for a replacement. But the store, which is being liquidated, refused, adding that all sales were final. Online reviews and social media posts have complained about glass products shattering unexpectedly. Glass shattering randomly is a clear problem, but finding out why it shatters takes a little expertise. Benjamin Kicker blows glass on Granville Island. He says it requires precise formulations and crafting. Could have been an impurity in the glass could have been a disruption in the production cycle. Something happened to strain that piece and to cause that strain to release apparently quite violently. Over the past five years, Health Canada has recorded 71 injuries from shattering glass dishware, where heat was not a factor. Retailers are required to report every incident, but lawyer David Klein says that might not be happening as it should. Well, clearly a ball should not be exploding. Uh, it's not fit for its intended purpose if it explodes. British Columbia's Sale of Goods Act is actually quite clear. Anyone who sells a product for retail purposes uh, warranties that it is fit for its intended purpose. The store should clearly be refunding the money. A Martha Stewart rep did not answer our questions, while a spokesperson for Hudson's Bay Company, which owns Home Outfitters, said they would try and make things right with Hill. She wants these bowls pulled from store shelves for good. If I was standing at my sink, like the glass would have just flew right at me in my face, whatever, right? It was, you know, it, it could have been very dangerous. Hill says if she buys glass bowls again, she'll do a little research first to get a little transparency. Liam Britton, CBC News, Vancouver.